Hi Adrienne, this is for you and anyone else out there who is ready to ease back into a workout. Okay, we're going to do a couple of basic Pilates exercises to start warming up your core to get ready for more advanced work. Okay, so let's lie onto our backs. Make sure that we're in that Pilates neutral pelvic position, which means that you're flat here on the pelvis. So your back isn't pushed into the floor and it's not lifted and arched up, but there's a little bit of natural space and this front part is flat. All right, let's start with pelvic tilt. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, I want you to contract these muscles so much in this low core that your bones, the pubic bone and hip bones, start lifting forward. Inhale, release out. Again, exhale and pull. Inhale, release. We want to make sure that when we're exhaling here and doing that little pelvic tilt, that we're not contracting here into the glutes and hamstrings. So all the energy and all the work is coming from the low core. You can also imagine you've got a belt across the tummy and as you exhale, you're kind of pulling that belt a little bit tighter. A few more. With each exhale, I want you to really feel those ribs pull tightly together and your abs contract. Okay, one more. Okay, moving back to neutral position, neutral pelvic position, going into knee lifts. So we want to make sure that these legs, again, aren't active, that we're not using the muscles in the legs to lift the legs, but rather the core muscles, okay? So we're going to take an exhale, lift the right knee up to what's called chair position and tap that foot down, alternating now left. Exhale and contract and lift. Inhale and release, and right, exhale, lift. So what we're doing here is we're using the weight of the leg to create resistance for the stomach. Keep going, lift the knee on the exhale, really squeeze into the core as you lift the knee, two more, last one, good, alright, let's slightly round our backs, so we're in a little bit of a pelvic tilt. Lift both knees up and now going into the toe dips, which is the reverse of the knee lift. Inhale, tap the right foot down, touch the mat, and exhale, pull the knee. Alternating, left toe, tap the mat, exhale, pull. Again, this is creating resistance for the abs. This is weight that the abs are contracting to pull up. We want to make sure that as we tap the toe to the floor, that our back isn't arching off the mat, but we keep the abs connected. Two more. Last one. And drop both feet. Good. From there, let's go into chest lift. Bring the arms behind the head. And exhale. Lift the head and chest. Lift those shoulder blades high. Tuck the chin and contract the core. Inhale, release. Again, exhale, contract and lift. Inhale, release. Good. Peel those shoulder blades high off the mat. Keep 
those elbows nice and wide. Five more. Good. Two more. Last one. We're going to hold it and count to ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Release it down. Excellent. Moving on to the hula. Take one hand over the other. We're going to exhale and reach past the right knee. We're going to inhale, draw a line across the top of the knees and exhale, reach left. Inhale across, exhale, reach right. Keep those shoulder blades lifted. Good, last one, and reach, and bring it down. Good, take both hands back up, one hand on top of the other. Reach past the right knee and take 10 little pulses and reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slide over to the other side for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reach, and 10, bring it all the way down, bring those arms back behind the head, lift those knees up to chair position, cross the ankles for a reverse crunch, pulling the knees to the chest, exhale and pull. Make sure you're not using momentum, but you're using muscle energy from your low abs to lift the hips and pull the knees to the chest. Last one, and cross the other ankle on top. Let's do 10, exhale and pull. Two more. All right, feet down. Let the abs release. All right, Adrienne, there you go. There's a quick little beginner routine that you can do to start building up your core and getting ready for more advanced work. Keep practicing, and I can't wait to hear how you're doing.